Princess P and Sir John Forage a Royal Feast Story and Illustration by E.B. Adams That's me! Gah! Who emptied the fridge? Shouts Princess P. Where's the eggs? Where's the milk? There's not even any tea! Bear looks at Penguin. Penguin points at Bear. Sir John is too busy playing video game to care. Shall I order us some pizza? Sir John picks up the phone. No! cries Princess P. The king and queen are coming to our home. Sir John jumps off the couch. But how can we host? The shops are closed and there's nothing for Sunday's roast. If we don't find something for the oven, the king will throw us into the dungeon. Bear trembles in fear. Penguin is almost in tears. Princess P can't even stand. Sir John holds out his hand. Don't worry, Princess. There's food to be found. I know just the place, if you're willing to look around. Look! The shops are closed, but the dumpsters are open. Take a dive. These packages are all unopened. Bear finds a bottle of cream that's not yet sour, while Penguin finds a bag of whole wheat flour. Sir John sniffs out a pack of cheese and salami. Princess P holds her nose. Is that safe for my tummy? Princess P is wrapped in plastic, and it only expired today. Hmm, food wrapped in plastic. Sir John, I guess it's okay. Sir John, it's not bad, but we'll need some royal freshness. And I know just the place, if you're feeling adventurous. Look, the shops are closed, but the ocean is open. Take a swim, you have to be quick. Nothing here is frozen. Bear pulls mussels off the rocks, while penguin fishes off the docks. Princess P takes a dive. Coming up, she yells, what about crab meat? Sir John holds out a fish. Is this safe? This doesn't look like fish I eat. Salmon and tuna aren't the only fish. It's the freshness that makes the dish. Agree, Princess P. But we'll need some royal richness. And I know just the place. It's not your average business. Look, the shops are closed. But my neighbor's yard is open. Take a look, we can trade. There's an understanding that's unspoken. Bear takes eggs from the chickens out back, while Penguin opens a beehive full of honey from lilac. Sir John leaves her giant crab. He's a very good exchanger. Princess P holds out her hand. Is this safe, trading food with a stranger? Why not? Trading food turns strangers into friends, and knowing where your food came from is quite the going trend. Sir John, it's almost there, but we'll need some royal flavor. And I know just a place. Hurry up, we can't waver. Look, the shops are closed, but the parks are open. Take a walk, look up and down, as long as it's not poison. Bear climbs a tree for pine nuts and mulberry, while Penguin looks under for garlic and rosemary. Princess P takes a sniff. Must be parsley, great for toppings. Sir John holds a leaf. Is this safe? It might have bugs and bird droppings. Give it a wash and a shake. The bugs will drop. It's really no different than the food from the shop. Princess P, this is amazing. We have everything for a royal dish. Quick, Sir John. It's getting late and there's still much to accomplish. Bear washes and steam mussels. Great, but everyone needs to hustle. Penguin makes pesto sauce. Quick, there's no time for applause. Sir John fries some fish sticks. Hurry, don't stop to lick. Princess P looks in the oven, waiting for her souffle. Is there time? The king and queen are on their way. Ding dong, ding dong. The souffle is taking too long. Bear plays music. Penguin pulls out the chair. Sir John pours a drink. Princess P offers a prayer. The queen says, Yummy. I never thought of mussels with salami. The king adds his voice. Pesto on fish stick. What a choice. How's the cheesy souffle? asks Princess P. The king twists his face and shouts abruptly, Guard! Bear trembles in fear. Penguin is almost in tears. Sir John can't even stand, but the king holds out his hand. The king commands his guard, You must all try the souffle. It's so creamy and cheesy, it will take your breath away. You made a royal dish, said the queen. Princess we made it as a team.
Dara brings out berries for dessert. Penguin whips the cream, it's not much work. Everyone ate with delight that night. A royal feast, what a success! But where they got their food, nobody would ever guess. <laughs>